Welcome everyone to another episode of The Train Studio. I'm your host, Sean Morris. Today on The Train Studio Update, I'm just going to be talking a little more about the uh, road sections, show you guys the the uh, somewhat less snowed covered uh, road, and then uh, just talk about a few other items. Just to let you guys know, um, I will be out of town for the next uh, three days, so there won't be any updates uh, during that time, but um, as soon as I get back on the weekend, I will uh, start putting up some more uh, content for you guys. So. Uh, stay tuned, but in the meantime, comment away. I will have access, so of course I'll reply. Um, and I enjoy reading those comments, so uh, keep uh, keep going with them. So just to recap uh, briefly, this was the uh, snow covered road that I did previous. Um, again, just the the um, flex paste on the outside, and then I just heavily covered the snow. Basically, what I did after I put the tire uh, tracks and the tank tracks through any high points and uh, right down the middle, I also left that uh, as a two lane road. Um, I left that uh, snow covered and then any high points I basically picked those out and then did a light dusting over the rest of the area. The other uh, less snow covered road uh, essentially looks like this. So again did the same ice patch, I put the uh, center lane down there and then I just picked up some high points. This one happened to have a bunch of rocks along the edge so again I just put snow on the tops of all of those so I think, I'm not sure if I can scan out enough but I think uh, somewhere basically in between those is essentially going to be uh, fine or even a combination of both. So I was um, commenting to, uh, to Viv um, that I think I'll just let the, the tire tracks dictate basically how much snow ends up on the road. So um, I'll put the patches in for the flat parts, I'll pick up the uh, flex paste on the high points and I'll just do a light dusting over over the rest of it and kind of just let it go from there. So I think um, in some of the heavier trafficked areas, I think I'll brush back off some of the snow just to make sure that there's less on there. And then in the, in the heavier, um, or sorry, the less uh, traveled areas, I'll just leave the snow a little heavier. So I think that's basically what I'm going to end up with. And if there's some really ruddy or high, high traffic areas, I'll basically leave that with just a dusting of snow and skip the flex paste altogether and just see what that kind of looks like. So um, that's where I'm at with the roads. So hopefully you guys uh, are uh, pleased with those. Or, or um, if not, again, comment. Or if you like them, comment as well. So uh, the other thing I worked on was um, was uh, setting up the uh, the waterway. So uh, I've done this piece now with the plaster cloth. So I I cut this out basically just with a knife. I didn't use a hot wire foam cutter. I was going to, but um, it just didn't uh, seem to uh, be able to get in these really, really small areas. It's more for larger uh, sloped areas where you can get on an edge. But um, basically what I did is uh, after I cut it out, I sanded it down. And then I just took the plaster cloth. I did two layers and I just started laying it into... Uh, the waterway so this is going to give me a nice foundational base um, it's, uh, it's a lot uh, more rigid than the foam itself and next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some flex paste and I'm going to just uh, plaster the whole thing again um, this, the, the flex paste is going to be up on the top anyway so I'm just going to wrap it right down underneath and that's going to allow me to uh, the paint the base and the earth tones and then I'll do a blue uh, sort of wash uh, in the bottom and then I'll start laying in the rocks and uh, and stepping it up from there. So, so basically it was just a recap. It was foam, then uh, painted it white, then plaster cloth. The white just because uh, the plaster cloth is um, is mesh, so I didn't want any uh, yellow to show through. So I painted the whole thing white first. Two layers of plaster cloth, and then uh, next is going to be uh, flex paste. Let that dry. Sand it down a little bit. Then it's going to be earth tones, uh, just a pigment wash, and some blue, then some rock, then some uh, water effects. And on top of the water effects, the next I'll do the ice, and then the soft flake snow. So I have a piece, a sample piece that's uh, not quite to the final stage, but um, this is where it's at right now. I'm not sure if you guys can see that very well or not, but uh, this uh, effectively has, that's the earth tone I was talking about. There's the flex paste there. The snow has been added snow to the top of the uh, to the stones and then also if I can get that with less shadow uh, you can see perhaps the blue pigment in the bottom so next up for this will be uh, angle that a bit more for you guys 
There you go. Next up for this will be, uh, after this layer completely clears and dries, will be a second layer of water effects. So I've left it down from the stones a little bit. I've covered some stones with the bottom layer. Um, the next layer will have the pigment mixed in, the white pigment. Bring that up just a little bit higher. That'll create the ice. After I have the ice, that'll bring the snow down from the uh, edges, and then some of the snow will go onto the ice itself, have some exposed patches, and uh, we'll see what that looks like. Um, I'm going to let this cure uh, for the rest of the day. If I get a chance before I take off today, i got a flight out uh, just after, uh, after school today. If I get a chance to, uh, to get that down, I will. If not, uh, the next layer will be much thinner than this one and should uh, clear and dry fairly quickly. So um, look for that when I come back. Comment about the roads in the meantime, guys. And then when I get back, I'm going to uh, essentially... Um, probably leave the um, the river basin or the stream basin um, just with the uh, the wash for now I don't think I'm gonna go any flex paste yet just because I want to get the roads all done first so that's gonna be priority one and then get the other things like crop rows and stuff like that laid down so um, I just wanted to do some sample pieces to see if you guys had any feedback and then it gives me time in between uh, the sample and actually doing the process if there's some changes or some ideas that I need to take into consideration so uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll uh, catch you guys in the next video and have a great weekend. Cheers.